Hey YouTube, it's Cape Cod Cooter. This is my laptop notebook. It's a Gateway MT3419 laptop. I broke the screen, so I have to plug in a monitor. Um, today I'm going to clean it out. I've had it for two and a half years and I've never cleaned it. I've like clean the outside of it, but it, like the screen and stuff and the keyboard and everything, but uh, I've never cleaned the inside of it, and the fans, are, it's been overheating and then shutting down, especially when I watch movies on LetMeWatchThis.com and stuff, so I like watching movies, I haven't been able to do it in a while, you get to watch all those new releases or whatever, but um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take her apart to clean her out, i pull the keyboard out. Uh, to get to the fans and uh, really dismantle the whole thing. I'm gonna take all the all the cards out, the all that stuff, all that good stuff. I've been running it without the battery, thinking that maybe it would um, it would get more ventilation. <laughs> uh, but I got some tools here. I got a little thing to throw some screws in, and I got plenty of coffee. Uh, this is my yard. I'm trying to grow grass. Um, this is what I look at when I'm on the computer. I used to have my computer in my garage, and um, I used to sit out there and look at, you know, go to AutoZone and Advanced Auto and Napper and all those, CarQuest and everything to look up parts. I don't have a Pet Boys around me. Um, but I used to look up car parts and stuff like that when I worked on cars. I go on Craigslist a lot. And uh, I go on Craigslist every day, but um, I uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna clean this out. I'm gonna shoot this video. That's what I'm gonna do today. Hopefully, she'll get back together because I use my computer all day, every day. Sometimes I don't sleep. <laughs> okay, this is the back of the computer. Uh, the bottom, I uh, I got the memory card off, I got like two gigs in there, and uh, I forget what everything's called, <laughs> I know that the, the batteries have been out, I took the battery out, uh, I think my battery's only a six, right here, I was online, and you can buy, I think a ten battery cell, it was seventy dollars. I've seen one uh, online for, um, but uh, I took these out, uh, I undid the screws to pull this thing out, so I'm going to pull this all apart now, it is dusty in there, and uh, I'll start cleaning. Uh. Okay, that was a, a Seagate hard drive, uh, it says 160 gi uh, gigabytes, and uh, these are Samsung, um, one gig of uh, RAM memory cards, whatever you want to call them, and I forgot what that thing was called. Okay, I took out those memory cards and just pushed those little clips off to the side on both of them. At the same time, they pop up. I took both of them out, slide them off to the side. Um, I'm taking this thing out. I don't know what that is—a processor, maybe. I don't know, but. Uh, this is just a mental note for myself. Gray wire is on the left, black wire is on the right. Okay, this is where my fan fan is right here. You see, there's like the cooling fans are in there. Uh, what do they call them? Heat sinks or something like that. But anyways, I was looking online when I was looking at other people's computers. Um, right here, where the fan is. They had a bunch of drilled holes in here and stuff like that, like a, a mesh part. And uh, I wonder if it if it would be benefit me if I modified my my case and by putting some some holes in here to help my fan out. What do you think? <laughs> she's a, she's apart, but I still haven't got to the fan. I got to take this board out to get to the fan. But the screen's all apart, keyboard's out, you can see the dust that's in here, it's bad, all that dirt, 
Uh, I did bring this in my garage. I used to have greasy hands when I touched it and stuff. I've eaten on my computer. Okay, this is Cape Cod Cuda. All right, I um, I had popped this piece off. This is where the power off on button is. I took that out. It's right here. It's an off on button. Uh, these are the covers that go underneath. All right. When I did that, I unscrewed this and took the oh, I'm sorry, took the top half of the computer apart. This is off the um, screen. Those wires go underneath onto. I guess that's a video processor or something like that. So I took that off and uh, I don't have a, a stand. This lifts up and pulls out, but you gotta unhook this ribbon. See the ribbon coming down? Um, I was using... I already took all this apart and I put it back together to download um, my video card out of my camera and put it back together and now I'm taking it back apart. There's no screws in it. I know that's probably like a major no-no, but that's easy enough. I cleaned all the back of it and everything, blew it all out. Uh, let's see. Then I took all the screws out of this. This lifted up. There was another ribbon card under here for the mouse. For the mouse. Again, the same, same kind of thing. I took a screwdriver and pushed these little brown pieces down to pull the ribbon out. No, it doesn't focus good, does it? And that popped right off like that. I cleaned that all out too. And this was the uh, the rest of the computer. The CD drive pulled right out. DVD. Oh, that pulled right out like that. Um, this board's all detached too. Nothing's hooked up. I put I pulled all those cards out and put them back in and stuff like that. Uh, but now i got to put screws in it and put them back together. I don't think I'm going to put the screen back on. It worked. The computer worked without the screen. My screen's broken anyway, so I don't think I'm going to put the screen back on uh, and run it like that. Maybe I had Cape Cod Cuda. As I was putting this back together, um, I was realizing, because I've noticed it for a while, that um, this this button on my mouse pad um, was sitting low, um, and uh, you know you can like get like a little swivel to it or whatever. You can press either side of it or something like that. Well, anyways. So uh, I figured I'd take it back apart as I was putting it back together and look at it, see what was going on with it. And um, when I looked at it, where am I? Um, I can't even find myself. All right, see how this? This is the button right here. When you push the button, this piece goes. Um, back and forth this will come down and push on this button that's the button that actually is, wait a minute, is the mouse that's the mouse that's the the right clicker right there so anyways when you push this down it was like this is the tension to bring it up and down um, it's plastic and that's the tab it's like plastic soldered on there, it's broken, um, there's supposed to be two of them, like on this side, and, um, well, it's broken, I went down the shop, I had these couple little springs, the two different sizes, they actually went to a, to a ignition, um, so, uh, I brought those up here, um, and they sit inside, they're pretty good. Um, it doesn't touch any metal in the inside to be concerned about a 
shock. I already put it back together. It comes up good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go back downstairs. I'm going to put both of them. I'm going to give them both springs when I put it back together. I'm just going to use the same size uh, spring on both of them. So I'm going to go run back downstairs and go get another couple pairs of springs, matching springs. Uh, and that's my quick fix for the for that. Uh, Cape Cod Kuda signing out.